Hello everyone, I'm Tanishka from Class 6 of Shishya BEMS Public School and today I'm going to show you how can you make a chatbot on Coda2RG uh, and in that you need to go to the app lab. So let's begin. So this will basically be a place where you can like ask questions and there will be an automatic reply but you need to code for each of them. I'll show for one such question and you can do it for as much as possible. That's upon your wish. So I'll expand the size of my screen currently. So you can see this is a workspace. First, we need to put the design, and on the top, we need to put out a label here, then a text area. Then below that, you need to put two buttons, and then below that, you need to put a text in. This is the basic layout over here. Now I'll just rename some. So first you need to like you can uh, uh, rename the text. So first uh, you can give it a name. So I'll give it a name my friendly chatbot. So you I'm going to increase my size, like a font size a bit, and then this text input it needs to like grow a little bit. The button's text, that's the button. The text one should be answer. The second button should be reset chat and this you need to increase the size so the basic idea of this app is like you need to enter the text over here and when you enter the text here you'll get the answer here this is just a heading and here when you click on it like you type the text here like hi and click on answer and you'll get a reply hi and you can just reset the chat after that after you wish to do so and this is the basic design interface you can make it more colorful by changing the colors etc so i'm going to change them all so now i've changed like the background color and some properties and i have renamed them so i'll just be showing you the names of all the things one by one so that you get reference that what is what so the screen's name is screen one the labels name i change it to heading you can give any name as you wish here to the like uh, text area i named it as text chatbot here for answer button answer button reset and this text question like the text is a question the question these are the things that the components we required over here so now we are going to program them so let me program them okay so i'm done so here's the programming for one question i'll just be showing you from where did i get each of these blocks so first is on event button answer so you get it from here like i'll just show you programming one more question so now let's keep this aside for a while you need not mind what this is so here you need to make it button answer like when button answer is clicked then you need to go to the control and there you will get if and a block here so you need to drag and drop that and then from get text question that you will get from the ui control you need to again go back so when you scroll down over here it's get text so you get it here you need to take it like from here and put it here and then from so i'll just put it here then here the orange i mean the e double equals to you'll have two equals to I mean, when you go up you need to put it here and this needs to like, i mean to say that this is supposed to be here and this is in this box so basically what you did first was a bit wrong here again you need to choose text question that's 
this box whatever you named it this box over here where you went to enter and this if the question here is like suppose i'm programming for how are you okay and one thing that you need to make sure is you put it inside inverted commas so that yeah so yeah and the reply should it should be decided before so set text you need to drag this one set set id text so the id here is supposed to be the text chat box that's this box and here for the text it needs to be the answer that you're giving so i'll put here i am fine make sure that you don't uh, use caps over here because here you have given like uh, enter the text only in small letters and not in caps because a person may enter in caps and we are programming only for the small and everyone can't like always type in um, caps so let them type in small letters so, and you also reply the answer in small so i am fine let's check how does it work so first you need to click on the run that's the run button here so i'll just show once here when you click on run now first like i programmed for hi so i'll just enter hi and i click on answer so it doesn't work so sometimes we can need to refresh it so here i refreshed now let's try once again and answer hello i'm chatbot you get a reply and then again you clear it and the use of res reset chat is like you don't need to click on backspace like backspace again and again you can just click on this instead of backspace so next i have program for how are you so i type how are you and here we didn't get a reply let's try again oh it was not in run how are you how are you and answer i am fine you can like copy paste it you just by left click i mean you can just copy paste it as many times as you wish and now for the button reset on event button reset you get like you need to take from here of course and then set text you will get it here itself and you like scroll down yeah set text your text one is supposed to be text chat box that's this and another is uh, text question that's here and here you uh, have text written already you just need to click on backspace so now like instead of clicking on backspace like putting it this way what i can do is i can just click on reset chat and it gets reset so hope you liked it and you enjoyed so this was how can you build a chatbot in uh coder towards the app lab you can also rename it so i'm going to rename it as the friendly chatbot you can add various questions as you wish like any question that you want to do so bye